All right, we're gonna open this up and replace the battery. You need your Phillips driver, and you can unscrew all these little screws and place them off to the side. If you happen to lose some of these, you can get them pretty cheap. They sell little packs of screws. So, these are really easy to lose. There we go. Pop this off. Let's open this up. Man, this thing is sealed. There we go. Got a replacement for 30 bucks online. It's not an Apple brand, it's a generic from China, I assume. What's well, not from China? There we go. Mm -hmm. Charge the battery for 10 hours to your notebook computer before using. To prolong the life, blah, 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 blah. Alright, let's open this up. There we go. Yeah, it just says rechargeable battery there. Nothing special. And that's going to go right in there. So we need to take out the screws that are holding this in. And it's easy to forget about the one in the middle. Let's see if these are different sizes too. There's the one in the middle. Not a screw here. Somebody must have already taken. There's not a screw here either, or here. Either somebody already did this, or Apple didn't put in screws, which I have a hard time believing. So I think somebody already monkeyed with this. Yeah, it seems like the same size. We'll find out for sure in a second. Here's where it plugs in. Pull this up and put that screw back inside so it doesn't roll around into something. There we go. Okay, now this part of the plug you're just going to pull this way. You can walk it, you know, just sort of wiggle it out. If it's stuck, this one's really easy to get out. Okay. Let's, uh, this. I'm just going to put these screws right inside, transfer them like that. It's, yeah, this one's shorter. This one seems shorter. Seems like a totally different screw. I don't know what the other owner did with this, but... Yeah, this is short. This one's a short one on this corner. Tip it around. Knock some of these out. One, two, there we go. Out, out, out. Okay, so on this one, same thing. Plug it in. If you're one, I got a screw in my mouth, sorry. See the copper? That face is down. There you go. This one doesn't want to go in as easy. This one doesn't want to go in at all. Let me take this one. Sorry about that. This one's not popping in. <laughs> See how loose this is? It's got this little, um, and you can't see it on the camera there, right in the middle is a tiny little nub of plastic. And uh, it's supposed to slip in far enough that it catches and it's uh, it's not doing it 
Let's put this down. Don't mess anything up. There we go. You can feel, oh man, bad quality. Yeah, that's not even going in. Let's get a flathead driver. Hopefully I don't ruin anything else. Yeah, it's just it's just sitting there. It does not want to go in. Hmm. Let's uh, compare this end to this one. Wow, I can't see any difference visually. They're so so close. Same length. Hmm. If this doesn't latch, it's going to be the flakiest. Uh... There we go. Oh man, that was not easy. Careful when you push this in. Let me zoom in for you. All right, that's a bit better. When you push this in, you don't want to be messing around with anything around here. You don't want to weaken these solder joints. You're just going to cause more problems, obviously, if you break some of that. But right here, this piece of plastic needs to meet up with this one. There shouldn't be a gap. And this uh, little nub of plastic needs to be poking through there. Anyway, that's it. So now we can put the screws back on. The center one is bigger. Where are my Phillips? The center one's bigger, and uh, it's a good idea just to get them started and then go in and tighten them all the way, at least on a few of them, in case you're in the wrong spot. That seems to always happen. Another one. Can you hear my kids scream? This one doesn't seem long enough to get in. Maybe I put in wrong side. So let's try this one. Okay, that one went in. This one in here. 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 I mean, if you're out of screws on these, oops. If you're out of screws on these, it, it's not a great thing, but you can get by without them. I think I'm one short. Oh well, it doesn't totally matter. It's secured here and here. Close enough. Okay, so now we're ready to uh, put this back together and you can see on the inside is a little diagram saying that you need to insert this face first, which is right here, these little tabs, see these? Slip those in underneath these grooves here on the top. I'm gonna hold up the back and push these in and then this can go down. And uh, this part can be a little tricky right here. This thing can move around. It's got to fit pretty nice. I'm having a bulge right here. Something's in the way. So let's see what's pushing so much. It's, it could be this. This extra uh, tab that they put on here. I'm going to rip that out. Try to get this to sit flat. I don't know what it is. It's uh, making the cover right up. See if it's these wires bound, bunching up on each other. Feels like it could be that. I'm not sure here. Let's see if we can get this to go down now without that thing on. Okay. It's still bunching. Something's something's in the way. See, it's uh, got a bulge right there. There we go. That's good. So while it's down, I'm going to put in the screws here. Let's 
put in one of these small ones and a medium one in the corner. I'll do the cor corner first. There sure is not a lot of extra room in things like this. Use up all the space they got. Yeah, it's still bulging, but I think it'll be okay. It's not at all like how electronics used to be. I mean, it used to be so empty. Like old arcade games. Tons of extra space inside, but that was a bit different. You weren't carrying that around with you. But, you know, old computers used to have tons of room inside of those. Okay, here we go. All the short screws in there. Let's put this big one in right here. Here's a medium size for the back corner. Here's another long one. Might want to put these screws in like a cup or something when you're doing this. There we go. I'll plug it in for 10 hours and see how it works.